Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to do a yarn review. This is on a Lion Brand Summer Kiss yarn. As you can see, it's got little uh, splices of different colors there in it, all around in it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to read about it. So it's 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. 262 yards or 240 meters. It's an 80% cotton, 20% polyester blend, and it is machine washable and dryable. It's classified as a medium weight number four. Uh, knitting needle size recommendation is a 4.5, and crochet hook size is a 5.5, and it is made in China. Okay, the collar I'm holding in my, in my hand is called lemon so a classified as a medium four which i would agree with <clears throat> i did crochet with it a bit and i would have to say that it's on the thinner side of a four but it's still a four so at first off when you feel it it is a cotton polyester blend it's not this it's it's soft and it's squishy but it's not the softest cotton polyester blend that I've ever felt. Um, I think more polyester probably would have made it um, softer, but then the cotton makes it more uh, breathable for the summer. So the name I take it from is the Kiss... I think they say on their website, little kisses of color are mixed in with a single main color in the I-Core construction yarn. From brights to pastels, this kid-friendly cotton polyester blend yarn is ready to be worked up into easy care garments and accessories. Okay, so that's what they say. One ball will make a hat, two will make a scarf, three will make baby. I'm probably, I don't know what that is. It's something for baby, I guess. I don't know. Baby blanket, baby, baby something. Okay, <laughs> so... Um, so like I said, it's not the softest poly uh, cotton polyester blend that I've ever felt, but it's not, it's not too bad. So I did work with it a bit, like I said, not much. I just did a little swatch. And I do have the recommended hook size here of a um, I, uh, five and a half. So here's what my swatch looks like. Now this is single crochet and double crochet swatch. I did part of it in single and part of it in double, as you can see. That's what the little things of color. So they all appear to be about the same distance apart. And they're all the same length. They're probably about an inch, inch and a half big. Those little splotch of colors. And then you go down a little bit, probably about 15 inches maybe. And then there's another one, same size. Go down the same length again. There's another one, same size. So it's pretty consistent on where the colors are at the color splotches they're all the same size same distance part it's pretty flat filling yarn that looks like uh i cord chain construction i guess i they said i cord so crocheting with it was actually um crochet is just fine pretty easy to crochet with it does seem like um the way it feels it kind of feels like maybe nylon-y kind of like it would make a good swimsuit I guess I don't know though um I don't hate the way it feels but I can tell you I'm not in love with it and though but like I said the way I cro it crochet is just fine I just wanted to give you an idea of what those little splotches of color look like there's no rhyme or reason to them they're just I mean they don't really do anything special that I know of they just kind of just show up or you know as you're crocheting um, I particularly don't like the little splotches of color in it myself. That's just me. They look kind of funny to me. I mean, it's a cool concept, I guess, but I don't know. It just seems like they're... But I'm more of a consistent person. So, you know, everybody's going to be different than me. And, you know, everybody's different. Um, I would be prefer it to be... Not have those in it. But then it wouldn't, I guess... Be nothing special it just 
<laughs> beat some cotton polyester yarn. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of the splotchiness of it. But I can see how it, can, it would make like a nice little unique uh, little child's garment or something, you know. Um, it's stretchy feeling, that's for sure. Even, I know, like I said, it feels kind of like nylon, but it's but it's not, I guess. You hear it? Not the softest stuff, but it's not too bad. So, <clears throat> price-wise, um, I looked on um, lionbrand.com. It could be available other places, but I purchased mine from lionbrand.com. Um, they have 16 colors available. All different array of colors. Uh, they're all solid, and then they all got the uh, splotch of colors through them, like that. They run six ninety nine, and that is for two hundred and sixty two yards of a medium weight number four. Uh huh, six ninety nine. All the colors are all very pretty. Um, I just don't like that color in it, and I'm I'm just not a big fan of the way it feels, honestly. It's not a bad yarn. It's just kind of mediocre for me. It's not one that I think that um, I would like run out and try to get it. To, that I would have something, you know, specific that I want to make with it. It's probably not even a yarn that I would. I probably wouldn't buy it again. To tell you the truth, it's just. Uh, I don't know. So the care instructions are real easy. You know, they're, you know, easy to take care of. Wash and dry. Like they said, it'd be great for kids' garments. It's soft enough for kids' garments, of course. I, the main thing that's turning me off is the price is a bit high, if you ask me. But you could probably, Lion Brand has 30, 40% off all the time. So it wouldn't be hard to get it on sale. Um, the turn off for me is the splotches of color. If it was like didn't have that in it, I think I would like it better. Um, but that's really kind of turning me off. And the feel is just, of course, you know, it's soft enough to wear a shirt out of it. I just don't feel like it's going to have like a good drape on it myself, honestly. Even if I use a bigger hook, I just feel like maybe it's a little stiff and it's not going to have a, a huge drape. But like I said, it'd probably make a good bathing suit, maybe. I don't know. But um, I usually <clears throat> rate them. I've been starting to rating, rating them. One being like the worst yarn ever. Which I would say, for me, my, my opinion, it would be like a loop it or scrub or scrub yarn. Um, and then Tim would be like the best yarn ever. Um, I would probably give this one a, as far as yardage versus price, regular price, $6.99. As far as the way it feels um, and basing it by the way it looks, only in my opinion though, um, I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a four it's not doing it for me it's not um, but remember as always these are only my own personal opinions I'm not affiliated with lion brand they didn't give me this yarn I bought this yarn myself so they're only my 100% honest opinions um, and I don't have affiliated links to where if you buy the yarn um, I, make, I make money. I don't have any of that. I'm just telling you what I, what I honestly think of it. And always remember, though, my views can be different. I mean, sure, they surely can be different from yours. A lot of people like the looks look of, you know, like, uh, you know, just the splotchiness and the differentness. And that's fine if you like that look. That's cool. I'm more of a consistent person. I said, Like I said, I probably would have rated it a little higher if it didn't have those touch colors in it. But then... It wouldn't really have a name Summer Kiss, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of this one. So this one's not doing it for me, Lion Brand. Um, it's just okay for me. It's mediocre. It's not nothing I doubt I would ever buy again unless it was on sale, of course, then I'd buy it. It's hard to pass up sale yarn. But other than that, I'll probably stay away from it um, for the simple fact that... Um, it does it's just uh it feels okay it feels a little, like i said a little nylon-y and mostly it's just those colors in it i just don't like that it looks it looks different to, too different for me and i just i don't know not for me so 
that's my review lion brand i'm sorry for me this wasn't a home run but i still love all your other a lot of your other yarns but i just got to be honest this one didn't do it i want to give this one a four out of ten and i probably won't be a return customer on this one but let me know in the comments have you tried this yet <clears throat> And let me know what you think if you have. I'm interested because I know a lot of people probably will like the look of it. Uh, personally, it's just not for me. Um, but they do got a lot of beautiful colors in it if you want to check out lionbrand.com. And also, I always like to know if you've seen this in stores anywhere. I don't get to Joann's and Michael's very much because um, they're... Michael's is an hour away and Joann's is even farther. So I don't get there too much to look and see. But let me know if you've seen it in store anywhere. I'm, I'm curious. The only place I've seen it, though, is lionbrand.com. But that's my review. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.